Hello and welcome to my channel. We have a system of equation here that we need to resolve. Now, the first problem is 2 to the power of x equal to h to the power of 1 plus x or y rather. So let's resolve this problem. If you like, you can name it equation 1. It's just for reference purposes. So for this first problem or equation, we have 2 to the power of x equal to h to the power of 1 plus y. We need to reduce this. And how can we reduce this? We want to make this h, reduce this h such a way that you have common base with what we have at the left hand side of the equation. So this will become 2 to the power of x equal to. Of course, we know that 2 to the third power will be 8. If you're not aware of this, just know that when you raise 3 to the power of 2, or when you place 3 in this position, and 2 we have as the base, the result you have is 8. You can check that out on your calculator. All right, so we have 1 plus y already as a power. Okay, so what is the next thing? Because we notice that the bases are the same, you can cancel the bases, and then you have the power to be x equal to this 3 we distribute, so that you have 3 times 1, 3, plus 3 times y, which is 3y. So we can as well name this to be equation 2 if you want. And then at this point, uh, this definitely will form a pair of simultaneous equations with the way it looks and having the second problem. So it is very okay with the shape of simultaneous equation, having x, y, and then the constant on the right hand side of the equation. So that way, we can move this 3y to the left hand side or subtract 3y from both sides of the equation. Therefore, we have x minus 3y equal to 3. And this will be our equation 3. So let's leave it here because we cannot look for two unknown. So at that point, we leave this system of linear equation the way it is. And then let's work with the second one. The second one we have is 9 to the power of y equal to 3 to the power of x minus 9. Of course, we can make this equation 4. So what else are we supposed to do at this point? We need to reduce this 9 in a way that it will have the same base with this. So to do that, we have 3 to the power of 2. That will give you 9. If that multiplies, if the 2 multiplies by y, we have 2y already. And we have here to be 3 to the power of x minus 9. And of course, you notice that the bases are the same. You have to cancel them and then equate the power, which is 2y equals x minus 9. All right. So what do we need to do at this point? We still need to make this equation, let's say this is equation 5, to look like equation 3. So that way, we'll make sure that this x and y are on the same part and the constant is on the same second part or the other parts. So what do we need to do at that point? x is already here. If we move y across and move minus 9 across this way, keep in mind that they are crossing equality sign. So if 2y come to this other part, it changes to minus 2y. And if this minus 9 moves to this other part, it crosses, it changes to 9. Look at it. If minus 9 crosses to this part, it becomes 9, which is equal to x is already here. If 2y crosses, it becomes minus 2y. So by symmetric function, it can turn this problem turning it so that it becomes x minus 2y equal to 9. Keep in mind, nothing crosses. I just flip the problem. I just turn it so that we have this pattern of arrangement. So we can make this equation 6. So bringing this equation 3 and 6 together, we have x minus 3y equal to 3 and x minus 2y equal to 9. And these are equation 3 and equation 6. So we're going to use two methods to solve this problem. Either we use elimination method or substitution because these are a pair of simultaneous equation, a pair of simultaneous equation. So in simultaneous equation, we have several methods. You can use the graphical approach to solve this problem. You can use elimination method. You can use substitution method. You can as well use Kramer's rule to get the determinant of this matrix and the determinant of x, the determinant of y, and as the case may be. So in the next video, I'm going to give you the completion of this problem. So make sure to watch this particular video to see I'm going to resolve these two problems simultaneously using one of those methods I've already listed. So stay tuned 
as I'm going to uh, present the problems in a special and a unique way. 